Welcome fitness enthusiasts. Before we dive into our workout, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more fitness content. Today, we're delving into the world of push, pull, and legs workout split. This method of training is a tried and true way to target all major muscle groups, ensuring a well-rounded and efficient workout. Let's break it down. The push, pull, and leg split revolves around three types of movements. The push day, the pull day, and the legs day. Each day is designed to focus on specific muscle groups that work together, allowing you to maximize your efforts and see the best results. On push days, you're focusing on the muscles that are used for pushing exercises. This includes your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Think bench presses, shoulder presses, and tricep dips. These exercises all involve a pushing motion, hence the name. Next up we have pull days. As the name suggests, these days are all about the muscles used for pulling exercises. This includes your back and biceps. Picture yourself doing pull-ups or rows. These exercises all involve a pulling motion, working those back and bicep muscles. Lastly, we've got the legs day. This is when you'll be targeting your lower body muscles, specifically your quads, hamstrings, and calves. Squats, lunges, deadlifts, you name it. If it works your lower body, it's a part of leg day. The beauty of this split is in its simplicity and effectiveness. By dividing your workouts into these three categories, you ensure that every major muscle group gets the attention it deserves. This not only helps to prevent any imbalances, but also allows for adequate recovery time between workouts for each muscle group. So that's the basics of the push, pull, and legs workout split. It's a simple yet effective way to train and build muscle. Stay tuned for more details on how to make the most out of this workout split in our upcoming scenes. Now that we've got our workout split sorted, it's time to delve into the exercises. You might be wondering, how many exercises should I be doing for each muscle group? Well, the magic number here is two. Yes, you heard it right. At least two exercises per muscle group. Why two, you ask? Think about it this way. Our muscles aren't one-dimensional. They have various fibers, angles, and depths. To stimulate optimal growth, we need to hit these muscles from different angles, and that's where having at least two exercises comes into play. Let's take the chest muscles as an example. A flat bench press mainly targets the middle chest, while an incline bench press will hit the upper chest. By incorporating both these exercises into your workout regime, you ensure that the entire chest muscle is thoroughly worked, leading to a more balanced and complete muscle development. This same principle applies to all muscle groups. For the back, you could pair deadlifts with lat pulldowns. For the legs, squats and lunges make a great combo. For the shoulders, try overhead presses with lateral raises. The key is to combine exercises that complement each other and target the muscle group from various angles. Moreover, having at least two exercises per muscle group introduces variety into your workout routine. This keeps your muscles guessing and prevents them from adapting to a singular movement pattern. It's this variety that keeps the muscle fibers stimulated and promotes continuous growth. Additionally, varying your exercises can help prevent workout boredom. It keeps things interesting and makes your time at the gym more enjoyable. After all, who wants to do the same thing over and over again? In conclusion, incorporating at least two exercises per muscle group in your workout routine is a game changer. It leads to better muscle activation, more balanced development, and continuous growth. Plus, it adds a dash of variety to keep your workouts interesting and enjoyable. Remember, variety is the spice of life, and the same goes for your workouts. Switch up those exercises for better muscle engagement. We've got our workout split and exercises, now let's talk about sets and reps. You know, when it comes to building muscle and improving strength, these two factors are just as crucial as the exercises you choose to perform. Let's start with sets. A set is simply a group of repetitions of a particular exercise. Now you might be wondering, how many sets should I do? Well, the general rule of thumb is to aim for at least three sets per exercise. Three sets strike a good balance, allowing you to stimulate muscle growth without overtraining. Now, onto repetitions, or reps as we commonly call them. Reps are the number of times you perform a specific exercise without a break. The magic number here falls between 7 to 15 reps per set. But why this range, you ask? Well, it's because this range is optimal for muscle hypertrophy, which is a fancy term for muscle growth. See, when you perform 7 to 15 reps per set, you're working your muscles with enough intensity to trigger growth, but not so much that you risk injury. Plus, this rep range has another bonus. It's great for strength gains. So, you're not just getting bigger, you're getting stronger too. 
However, remember that these numbers aren't set in stone. They're a starting point. Everyone is unique and what works best for you might be slightly different. It's crucial to listen to your body and adjust accordingly. So let's recap, shall we? Three sets per exercise, seven to 15 reps per set. This combination is a proven formula for muscle growth and strength gains. And remember, it's not just about lifting weights, it's about lifting the right weights in the right way. Always aim for three sets and seven to 15 reps. This will ensure you're working your muscles for maximum growth. You may be wondering why this is the best workout split. Let's break it down. Here's the deal, folks. This three-day split workout, the push-pull and legs routine, stands out among other workout splits, and for good reasons. Let's dive into some of these. Firstly, this workout split allows for ample recovery time for muscles. Now we can't stress enough the importance of recovery and muscle building. When you work out, you essentially break down muscle fibers. It's during the recovery phase that these fibers repair and grow stronger. With a three-day split workout, each muscle group gets a whole 72 hours of recovery. That's prime time for muscle growth, my friends. Secondly, this split ensures balanced muscle development. Each day focuses on one type of movement, either pushing, pulling, or leg exercises. This means you're working all of your muscle groups evenly throughout the week. No muscle group gets left behind. And you know what that means, right? You'll be sculpting a well-rounded, harmonious physique. No more disproportionate biceps compared to your triceps. We're talking about a balanced, symmetrical body that's as strong as it looks. Lastly, this workout split is flexible and easy to fit into busy schedules. We get it, life can get hectic. With work, family, and other commitments, it can be tough to carve out time for the gym. But with this three-day split, you only need three days a week to see significant progress. And the best part? You can shuffle these days around to fit your schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Whatever works best for you. So there you have it. This workout split offers balance, flexibility, and optimal muscle growth. It's a winner for any fitness goal. Finally, let's talk about the key to any successful workout routine. Consistency and effort. Picture this. You're building a skyscraper. Each workout is like laying down a single brick. It might not seem like much in the moment, but over time, those bricks stack up to form an impressive structure. That's what your fitness journey is all about. It's about putting in the work day after day, even when it's tough, even when you're not seeing immediate results. Because progress isn't made overnight. It's a gradual process that requires patience and perseverance. But don't be discouraged because the results are worth it. With each workout, you're becoming stronger, healthier, and more capable. In the grand scheme of things, every brick matters. So don't underestimate the power of consistency and effort. Stay consistent, push yourself, and the results will follow. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with your fellow fitness enthusiasts. Until next time, keep pushing.